Hi everyone, it's me Nikki and welcome to my channel. I can't believe that I'm already on 390 subscribers. Thank you for that. That's why I changed the button as you can see. And if you like my videos, please make sure to subscribe, like them, share them with friends that they might find helpful. So let's get on with the unboxing. I thought I had to um, cut some plastic, but then I realized that it's very straightforward to open it. Um, I really like the quality of the products and when I opened it I first saw the windscreen cap that I thought it was not included because it was not available on the image cover. There was also uh, two manuals, one in uh, Croatian and one in English. This right here is the pop filter that I'm using with the windscreen cap as well so I can minimize any muffling and disruption of the sound so P, B's and other case maybe as well uh, sound better and also these materials actually protect your mic from not getting any liquid on it one thing i really like about the whole uh, microphone um, design is that it's all black and kind of sleek minimalistic it's also very easy uh, to mount and i will probably upload a video uh, demonstrating how i put it on my table which i got from ikea if you don't know <laughs> and uh, please let me know in the comments if you would like to see this video and uh, i did a little trick so i can protect the table from that metal um, piece that you see that it's twisting up and down also, I wanted to mention that um, this quality of sound looks to me good. I'm not a sound engineer, but I bought the mic for podcasting and voiceovers like this one. What it says on the uh, manual, it says that frequency response is from 30 Hz to uh, 16 kilohertz. And let's pretend we know what that means because I don't. <laughs> so if you know the difference, please explain it like you're explaining it to a child in the comments. Um, what I wanted to say also is that um, it's very light but sturdy and everything uh, it's has a good grip and it uh, fits perfectly. One thing I uh, don't know uh, why they didn't uh, thought about is the adjustment of the cable on the actual stand. I wish it has some kind of guidance around the cable management but that's just my opinion. It's compatible with Windows and Mac. And right now I'm recording the voiceover with the mic and uh, I believe the quality is really really good. Now this recording is a second take and I changed the position of the mic so it might sound a bit different. That's one thing to uh, experiment in the future when I'm using the mic. I wanted to mention that um, the software installation is as easy as the hardware, let's say. Um, basically, you plug it in with the USB in your uh, laptop. You make sure that um, your audio mixer is picking up the voice from uh, your mic. And another thing to remember is that the mic itself should face uh, the source of sound with the logo of White Shark. So, whenever you put it in the shock mount, make sure the logo faces the source of sound. And if you have any other questions related to the mic, let them in the comments. And also have a look at my new setup. See you in the next one. Bye.